Greetings, friends. <clears throat> there was a guy, there was this guy in Romanian history, Vlad the Impaler, reigned 1456-1462, for the most part, because he reigned, he also reigned before that in 14, a brief reign before that, 1448, also a brief reign in 1476. That's no matter. This guy is famous. And you know what? Romanian nationalists who are basically like upright gorillas or orangutans who walk upright actually revere this guy. They actually revere this guy. Romanian fascists like the Iron Guard actually revere this guy. <clears throat> they think him a great hero. A hero of a sort he really was because he fought the Ottoman Turks in the 15th century. Oh, the Ottoman Turks who had just um, conquered Constantinople. The second Rome and made it the capital of the Ottoman Empire. <clears throat> I do acknowledge. I do acknowledge that he had um, he had merits. He actually stood up to the Ottoman colossus, defended the sovereignty of his country. And that's a good thing, but I will not dwell on this. Because basically, what, I, what I'm trying to tell you is that basically, Vladimir Peter was a very bad guy. You know, he was bad at heart. A guy who tramples down on the poor people, who tortures and murders in sadistic ways, precisely the poor people, is actually a bad guy. You know, you know, a bad guy who fights bad guys, admittedly, the Ottoman Turks were bad guys. A bad, though, a bad guy who fights the bad guys is still a bad guy. A bad guy who fights the bad guys is still a bad guy. A bad guy he was. I will tell you of a story. A horrible thing that Vladimir Paler did not to the inv to the invading Turks, but precisely the poorest of the poor, to beggars, um, to beggars, disabled people, and also to basically destitute people, people who were the lowest of the low, were supposed to be defended by a wise ruler. Anyway, <clears throat> he tricked them into believing that they would be fed. He rounded it up, gathered them to a large house, to a large building, and tricked them into thinking they will be fed and cared for and looked after. And he did feed them. He gave them food to eat. He gave them water and wine to drink. And eat and drink they did. <clears throat> Up to the point they were so drunk they didn't realize that a horrible trick was played on them. They were, they were like mice in a trap. Vlad, the impaler, had, the, had all the doors locked up. He locked up into the building. 
and set the building alight. He burned them to death, all of them. He burned them to death. That's what he did to poor people, to vulnerable people, to the people who were the most oppressed of the oppressed, disabled people, beggars, destitute people. That's what he did. A guy who did who does things like who, who, a, guy who, a guy who does stuff like that can never expect any sort of love and sympathy from a guy like me. A guy like me will never love a guy like him. A guy like me will always despise a guy like him. Even though I do acknowledge that it has his merits, he did defend the sovereignty of his country. In the context of the time, he did have his merits. But still, a bad guy who fights the bad guys is still a bad guy. The Ottoman Turks were the bad guys. And yet a guy who fights the bad guys is still a bad guy. And he shall go down in history as a bad guy. No whitewashing, no, no amount of, of whitewashing can, can ever hope to clear his name. No, my, no amount of whitewashing will ever clear his reputation. You know what? He was an enemy of the poor. <clears throat> he was a cruel oppressor. On one occasion, he nailed babies, infants, to their mother's breasts. when he invaded Transylvania. He raided several Transylvanian villages and on one occasion she, act she actually nailed young babies to their mother's breasts. I don't love Vlad Zepesh. <clears throat> I don't hate him as much as I hate Antonescu or Codreanu because in the context, in that particular context of the 15th century, he did have his merits. But neither do I love him. Neither do I love him. I actually despise, I loathe this guy. He will never have a place in my heart. Okay, thanks for watching.